All right, good morning, church. Let's go ahead and stand. Lord, Father, we thank you for this morning. Uh, we thank you for your protection while we were on our way here. Uh, we just ask that more of your Holy Spirit would be here. More of you in here, Lord, Father. We bless you. We honor you. And we just ask, Lord, Father, that you meet a need today in every one of our hearts, whatever we need, Lord, Father, that you would minister, uh, minister to us as we minister to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, hallelujah. Let's lift God up this morning together, amen. Let's praise him this morning together.
this morning. You know, as we um, approach Easter Sunday this coming month, I just want us to take some time just to reflect on Jesus' sacrifice for us. I think one of the most beautiful things is God didn't just say he loved us, he demonstrated that he loved us through his son. And so Lord, we, all we can say is just thank you, God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy shown to us. Not just said, not just promised, but demonstrated on the cross through your son, Jesus. And so Lord, we just, we just lift you up in this place. You deserve all the glory, all the praise. So God, we just lift you up this morning and thank you.
just open up to you, Lord, come in, won't you come in, Jesus, to the places that are hard, to the places that are impossible, would you make a way, Lord, we just offer up those places in our lives now, we lift them up, we ask God, make a way, Jesus, would you make a way, only by your spirit, only by your power, would you come, make a way forward, God. I worship you, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Let me, let me clearly state to all of you and to all the people of Israel that he was healed by the powerful name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, the man you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead. For Jesus is the one referred to in scriptures where it says, the stone that you built is rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is one of the most important verses right here. Acts 4, verse 12. There is salvation and no one else. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. No other name but Jesus. You know, I was thinking in my seat about coming up here again and I was reminded of an old gospel song where it says, there's something about the name Jesus. There's something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name we know. It's a sweet name, but it's a powerful name because there's salvation in that name. There's healing in that name. There's peace in that name. There's hope in that name. There's courage in that name. You know, just, uh, can we just lift our hands to the Lord? Holy Spirit, come down right now. And if there's anyone in here right now, whatever you need from that name, Lord Father, I, I pray that you grant it right now. Holy Spirit, move. Healing, peace, provision, Love. Know that you're loved. Know that he's for you and not against you. 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 Any lie right now, come down in the name of Jesus. Any lies flo floating around in your brain right now, come down in the name of Jesus. For God is for you and not against you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing. In a moment, we're going to receive communion. And as the ushers are passing out the elements, we're just gonna take this a quick minute to do some business with God. If there's anything you need to lay out before him, uh, 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 confess, we want to do that now because we want to be right before God when we honor him in King, King communion. So take some time to do that.
on a night that Jesus was to be betrayed, he took some bread and he blessed it and he broke it. He says, this bread represents my body, which is given for you. Let us take of the body of Christ. And in the same way, he took a cup of wine and blessed it. And he, he says, this cup of wine represents my blood, which confirms the new covenant between God and man. Let's take the blood of Christ. Thank you, God, for washing us clean. Lord Father, you loved us while we were still yet sinners. You knew everything that we did and you know everything that we're gonna do and you went to the cross for it. And we can't help but say hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Lord Father, I pray that every day we would wake up and know that it is a gift to breathe your air, to walk on your earth and to do your will here. We honor you, we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. All right.